All right, guys. Guess what we're doing today? Yes. If this doesn't look familiar to you, this is a type of skyblock. In fact, uh, I was scrolling through the marketplace, and I found something called Skyblock Factories by Dodo Studios. And I thought, how cool would it be to be able to experiment and to play on a Skyblock game? I've not really done that before, uh, so this is kind of cool to me. And the very fact that we have, uh, what do we have here? We have machines, we have things that can actually produce like a factory. What's that over there? That's kind of cool. And I just thought this looked pretty neat, so we're going to see what this is all about. So welcome to Skyblock Factory. Thank you for downloading the map. In this book, you'll find all the recipes for the machines. If you lose this book, you can buy it again from a wandering, I'm assuming, trader. So farming machines. Farming machines will automatically harvest crops, so you'll never run out of food. That's pretty cool. So you got the beetroot machine, hopper, dirt, stone hoe, cactus machine. That's kind of neat. Carrot machine, melon machine, nether wart machine, potato machine, pumpkin machine, sugarcane machine, wheat, mining machines, that's neat, will mine stone and occasionally generate ores or rare blocks. Clay, I like clay. Coal, that's nice. Copper, diamond, dirt, good old dirt. <laughs> Emerald, gold machine, now that's fancy, iron machine, quartz machine, lapis machine. That's interesting that the quartz takes a diamond pickaxe to do something like that. Redstone machine, that's neat. Sand machine, uh, why am I being shot at? You know what we're going to do? We're gonna just hang out right here, right by the tree. This is dangerous out here. Anyway, back to reading. Aw. Alright, let's go forward here. So mining machines are pretty cool. Stone machine. Hunting machines. That's cool. Hunting machines will summon mobs to harvest their drops. Aw. Poor chickens. Cows. Fish machine. <laughs> That, that makes me laugh. Fish machine. <laughs> Pig machine. There we go. Sheep machine. Skeleton machine. Zombie spider. Ideal layouts. Machines won't work if the layout isn't ideal. All blocks should be one block lower than the machine. Except for walls and fences. Okay, so let me see here. So that would mean... Here, you would put the machine one block above the farmland, and that should work fine. Okay. Cactus is interesting. Huh. Nether wart, pumpkin. All other mining machines. That's neat. Hunting machines take fences. Okay. Layout for fish. Just some water. That's all we need for fish. Okay, so... Bear with me. I've, I've not done this before. Ice. Lava. Wandering trader. And a dirt machine. Huh. What did the dirt machine do? Obviously, I think it produces dirt. Yeah, it just produces dirt. There's a certain way that I needed to set it up, though. All mining machines. It doesn't look like it. Well, let's just play the good old dirt down. Hello. <laughs> look at it rotate. He's a cooking. He's a cooking something. You got any dirt? Whoa. Hello. What'd you do? Oh, fancy. So he produces dirt. Maybe does he suck? Yeah, he sucks the dirt back up. That's cool. Okay, so... 
There's some sheep over there. Hello, zombie friend. Wee. There's a house over there. I wouldn't mind going over there. Okay, so I know that you probably should collect some wood first. I got an axe. What am I doing here? Good old wood. There we go. So my goal with this is I, I just want to have fun. And to be honest with you guys, I've been going through a little bit of burnout when it comes to kind of making videos and just editing video and I don't know I got I got burnt out kind of tired and stuff and the goal is just to have fun with things and that's what I was telling you from day one you know if you can't have fun with it then what's the point in even trying to do it so is that dirt different what kind of dirt is that is that coarse dirt it is coarse dirt. So anyway, there's no point in trying to do something like that if you can't have fun. And that's the whole goal that I've been trying to teach you guys too. Is like... And you gotta enjoy what you're doing, okay? And for me, I just... I've been enjoying it, but not as much as what I would like. So it's my hope, anyway, that things can get a little bit better. And that's what I really want to do. So thank you all for being with me in the videos and for encouraging me to keep going. I It really does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much. In the meantime here, we're just going to go over here to where our wheat farm is. Hey, a spider dropped to its death. That wasn't, that wasn't good. There's coal down there. I could use some of that torch. I need more dirt. Hey, there's a stick. I could use a stick. Mine. <gasps> Oops. Did I break my machine? <laughs> I thought I broke it. I'm like, uh-oh. Not good. What happens if I put you in here? What will you do? You're still going to produce stuff. Okay, well you just keep producing stuff. I'm gonna break that. There we go. Give you a little bit of breathing room, how about that? You will be named Sir Dirt a lot. How about that? Alright, so we actually got quite a bit of dirt right now. I can connect the bridge. And hopefully we can get over there and hey, sapling get some of that coal that would be nice get some torches going so I want to try to keep this as long as I have fun with it keep it going for a little bit and the cool thing about skyblock now is uh, mainly you get to jump right into building you get to jump right into being creative because there's not too much really that you can explore unless you can get some pretty cool maps that have like uh, dungeon crawlers and stuff built into it then that'd be a different story. Ooh. There's an amethyst one over there. Okay, so. Hmm. Got water. I don't have any iron yet. I can make... I think I can make a wheat farm, right? Is that what that said? Potatoes, wheat. Okay. So, in order to make that, you'll need one hopper, three dirt... In a wooden hoe and that'll get you your wheat machine so when it comes to the wheat machine how do you set it up right above with three farmland and a water source so we have our water source probably right here so we'll probably have to move this composter out of the way and then if i take my hoe do i have a hoe they gave me all every other tool but a hoe. What is with that? Oh boy. That was almost... Woo! My heart jumped. I should really crouch when I do that, right? Oh. <laughs> Skyblock makes me nauseous. Makes me so nauseous. 
Okay, so we got our wooden hoe. And I think we can make our machine. How do we make our machine here? Ooh, that's cool. Wheat machine takes one hoe. Wheat, dirt, hopper. Okay, I got it. It's so dark. As long as no zombies or something spawn out here, I'm going to crouch. This is incredibly dangerous. Hop, hop, hop. I'm going to go down and get that. That coal is mine. I think that's going to be the next machine I want to make is a coal machine. Oh. Oh. I forgot I needed that hoe. Well, we're going to go back over the bridge of death. Can I make another one? Do I have enough for another one even? Sticks. Hoe. Don't make another wheat machine. What's wrong with you? Alright, we're going to crawl back over here. I like how the amethyst caves lit up. I forgot that the amethyst produced a little bit of light. That's pretty cool. I see our future house. Okay, so... We take our wooden hoe. Just like a so. And if I read that diagram right, it says that this needs to go... One block above for the wheat machine. So here. Oh, that works. Look at it go. Look at it go. Ho oh, oh. <laughs> Grow, little buddy, grow. That's cool. That is so cool. Okay. How do you make the coal machine? Takes four pieces of coal, a wooden pickaxe, and a hopper. I think that's really a necessity. I think we we need some coal in our life. So, we're going to go get some. And I can always fill up this hole later. Okay. Get some of our little stone pickaxe going on here. Ugh, my eye was watering. Yeah, I've been staring at my phone for a little bit. <laughs> I should really uh, give myself a break. But not before I have some fun, right? And honestly, ooh, hello. Monsieur Cole. I need four pieces of you. So that's one. Two. Yeah, I just got two. I think I saw some on the outside here. Oh, there's my island. Oh, look. There's iron over there. I can make some hoppers. Is that... That's nether wreck over there? Oh, you see things from a different perspective. Looks like diamond and emerald over on that side. That's cool. Where's our iron? Oh, there's our coal over there. Okay, this way we go. Yeah. I'll take you. Uh, you know what? This one's safer. We're gonna grab that one. Eh. One to grow on. How about that, guys? There's an igloo. <gasps> Bamboo. Ooh, fancy. Anyway, I think this is really cool. Um, so maybe you guys would join me if you want to. But on the marketplace, what this is called, this is called Skyblock Factory by Dodo Studio. It's been out for a little bit, and I was just looking for it, like I said, just kind of looking through and seeing what kind of fun ideas I can come up with and play. Because I want to do something different, but I want to do something that's going to be fun for me, and hopefully be fun for you guys too. So this is, this is kind of a unique experience, you know? I would like to watch somebody play this. And when I was scrolling through YouTube, I didn't see very many people play with this add-on. And uh, I was kind of disappointed by it. And I was like, hmm, I wonder why nobody's really playing with it. And I wanted to give it a shot. Because, you know, most add-ons are worth giving a shot with. Look at there, coal machine. Okay, uh, where do we put the coal machine at? Coal machine, I made that. Ideal layouts for cactus, nether warp pumpkin. 
all mining machines. I think they could probably be placed on any block. I'm not sure what X means. All right, we're gonna set it down. Maybe X means cobblestone. Or maybe it means dirt. Could be anywhere. All right, we're just gonna place some dirt down. How about that? And see if we can make it grow here. Oh, I just realized phantoms could probably spawn in here, can't they? I gotta probably find me a sheep, which there's some sheep growing over there at one point before the dirty fox got them. Yes, foxes and wolves. I don't know what what their problems are. Jeez. Okay, so we got our coal machine here, and I think we could just place it. Not working. I need to be around air or stone. Wow. You're very specific. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Boy, if, if only life was more like you. I need to be around air or stone. Air or stone? Well, buddy, you're kind of around air. There's air all around you. Okay, well, okay. Oops. I killed it. You're doing good. You keep, you keep doing you. All right, well, I dug out a bunch of stone over here. So, hey, there's mossy cobblestone over there. That's fancy. I wonder if there's like a dungeon under there or something like that. This guy's probably producing pretty good. Hello. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Okay, I can work with that. Hmm. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to place this guy right down here. Oh, that scared me. It blew up right in front of me. All right, so we're going to dig this out, this out here. Give our little guy a nice little home here. So we want to make sure that he's got plenty of room. I think, I think this is enough room for him. All right. Colbert. Do you like this area? Yeah? You're not complaining. What is that? Oh. You just produce the ore, huh? Do you ever break it? What'd you do? Now you just put stone there. Come on, Colbert. You can do it. You delete place. Delete place. Is there anything in you? Colbert, you're just giving me cobblestone, dude. Oh, I guess maybe it chooses a random one to break. Is that how you work? You really like that corner. Colbert. Come on, buddy. Okay, so you produce a little bit more here. Are you gonna grab some? Okay, he, he's producing. He's producing. Okay, he broke a coal. And he got a coal. Okay. Now I understand. So it seems like these mining machines, maybe he has a 50% chance to produce coal and a 50% chance to produce cobble. That seems about right. Either way, good boy. You did good, Colbert. Keep up the good work, soldier. <laughs> I don't know. I, I like him. I think he's cool looking. Well, that's interesting. So I'm learning something new, at least. 
Let's go back up. Let's check on. We'll call you Wheatley. How about that? Wheatley's got quite a bit of bread, quite a bit of seeds, so not bad there. Got dirt over on that side. We gotta get to this house. I wanna see what's in this house. Kind of bridge across here. We don't need to make another bridge, we just plow right through it. Ah, there we go. It's fancy. I wonder what's over here. <laughs> Does that ever make you nervous, like, standing right on this edge here? I mean, it would totally make me nervous. Hey. Some kind of sand structure over there. That's neat. We're almost there. I'm going to run out of cobblestone, aren't I? Ooh. Hey, there's an emerald down there. Okay. Do I have enough dirt to get over? I might have enough dirt to get over there. And I can always fix these bridges later or something. I'm going to figure this out. Oh, that made me dizzy. Oh, so close. Dare I jump? Ah, uh, nah, nah. Okay. This is fancy. Hmm. Little house in the back. Flower sleeves. Nice, nice. Something's wrong with the front door, though. Whoa. Hello. Okay, so we got blast furnaces, regular furnace. Hey, you got three coal already in there. Smithing table. Anything in the blast furnaces? What is this? Block of coal. Regular coal. Lava bucket. Now, I bet I can make... I can probably do a basalt generator. And I think I can make a cobblestone generator. Oh, that's just regular ice. I need I need blue ice for a basalt generator, maybe. But at least I can make a cobblestone one, so that's pretty good. Couple anvils. Nothing in there. Nothing there. I didn't think there would be. Anything. Whoa, hello. Well, that takes care of our bed problem. I think what we're going to do is we're going to make a black bed. How about that? That would be nice. Get in here. Another wandering trader. Helmet of Doom. Shears, if I want some shears. What's with all the empty maps? Huh. Okay. Pot. Mm. Huh. Is there something else in here? What, what's in this pressure plate? Nothing. Alright, I'm going to break their furniture. Ooh. Enchanted apple. Gold. I can work with this. This is nice. I take it back about their door. Their door was a... No, their door is still bad. <laughs> okay, tripwire hooks. I like it. Well, I guess I didn't have to make a bed. There's already a bed up here. Well, that helps. Makes me feel safe. Huh. Somebody knows how to decorate. Ooh, books. Okay. Nice. I love it. Crafting table. Got my furnace. Beetroot. Can't go wrong with beetroot soup. Huh. You know what? We're going to celebrate today. How about that? Day one. We're going to count each day that I play as a particular day. And we can recap it. Okay? So day one, we made... We'll call him Wheatley. There we go. Spell, man, spell. And... Hmm. What do we name our coal guy? 
Col you know what we're gonna, we're just gonna call him Colby. <laughs> we made Wheatley Colby. No, not Colby. Colby. There we go. And Dirtly. Wheatley Colby Dirtly. Okay, so we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. What else can we do here? Let's check our machines. So we can do a beetroot machine if we want. I think probably something important that we'll need is an iron machine. So there's our clay. We did our coal machine. Diamond machine. We need some diamonds for that. Emeralds. Wait. Hold up. Sir? <laughs> Hello. Can I ask you, sir? What do you have to trade? Uh, ice. Packed ice. I could use packed ice. This guy has some decent trades. Kelp. Always go for kelp farms. Sea pickles. Beautiful. Hmm. You will be Sir William. We write in our book. Uh -huh. And introduced <laughs> Sir William. And friends. Huh? Well, yeah, we don't know your guys' names. Sir William, enjoy the house. <laughs> All right, so I think what we want to try to do is we really got to get some iron because I think we can make an iron machine, right? One, two, here. Okay, iron machine takes four iron, one hopper, and one stone pickaxe. So stone pickaxe is no problem. Cobblestone, not an issue at all. Uh, is there anything over here, though? Hmm. Kind of can't see down there. Got some coarse dirt. Eh, if I can click on it. There we go. Maybe if we branch one off. Okay, so there is some iron down there. And an iron down there. That's good to know. So let's go ahead and dig down. Maybe we can actually do something here. Yes. And mine. Do I see any more out here? I don't know if there's any more on this side. Ooh! Emeralds. There's one iron down there. So I can grab that. Or I can grab that one over there. That one's probably easier to get to. Almost there here. You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Yeah. Sir William, are you pressing buttons, sir? Okay, so I see those. Where are we at here? All the way down there. Well, I tell you what. We're going to leave it for the next episode. This is kind of cool. I like this a lot. So we're going to come back and we're going to definitely uh, do our next episode and stuff. But I think for right now, this has been pretty fun. It's been enjoyable for me. I hope that you've enjoyed it too. And... If you played this before, Skyblock Factory, let me know. Or if you played any other Skyblock series, I'd be curious too for, you know, tips, anything that you would suggest doing. But we're going to have fun with this and we're going to... Is that a rabbit? What is that? I don't know what that is. But it's falling to its death. Okay, on that note... Catch you guys in the next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.